here's some some flash gordon items that you don't see every day that's a flash gordon pinball machine not a machine just a toy and then here's some old flash gordon uh reprinting the the uh comic strips from back in the day uh cap bomb parachute i'm not sure how it works because it's unopened and then a Flash Gordon wallet with ID. And these are very popular. Flash Gordon puffy sparkle stickers. And I found these online. I just thought they were pretty cool. Um, it's a replica uh, football card from the movie. Because Flash Gordon in the movie was a quarterback for the uh, New York Jets. So there's a, a, a replica car. Sam Jones, who starred as Flash Gordon in the 1980 Flash Gordon movie, uh, contacted me, and uh, one thing led to another. So Sam is bringing his Flash Gordon 40th anniversary world reunion tour here to Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, 724 Cleveland Avenue Southwest, on the fringes of beautiful downtown Canton on that day. So Sam will be here signing autographs, taking pictures, uh, talking to his fans. But along with that, we're gonna do the stuff we'd normally do anyway on Free Comic Book Days. So we're gonna have a huge sale with over 40,000 back issue comics for only a buck each. Select action figures on sale, select DVDs. Uh, you, you don't know all the stuff that we might be doing, plus, uh, an added uh, couple of guests are going to be uh, John Judy and Sean McArdle, who wrote the Eisner-nominated book, The Fuhrer and the Tramp, and they will be here signing autographs and talking to their fans as well. As far as Slash Gordon goes, uh, he originally started off as a newspaper comic, um, and his adventures were serialized uh from day to day and week to week uh he was in the uh, daily papers as well as the sundays which were of course in color uh from there he was uh taken to the to the big screen as an old school serialization also uh so you'd have several chapters and each week on saturday afternoon uh, a new chapter would be released with whatever you know movie was released that weekend uh, for the kids to go see um, he had no real superpowers he just was a man who who defended the earth and fought for you know good Sam Jones coming to Canton uh, that's a pretty big deal actually and the fact that he picked my shop I'm you know I'm honored I guess is the the best word uh, and uh, so this is something that's, I don't want to say it's a once in a lifetime, you know, possibility, um, but it's not going to happen that often that you're going to get to meet a celebrity of his caliber, uh, someone who starred in a movie that has the staying power to still be uh, watched and sought after after 40 years.